Oculus friends, in this video I will show you a quick demonstration of how to show your project in 3D. It is done using a plugin. Of course, everything in QGIS that is slightly more complex is done with plugins. So you go to plugins and you are searching for the plugin QGIS 2 and this is the plugin. QGIS 2 3 G's. Very good plugin, very well rated. I will even rate it high. And uh, it uh, shows many layers. I will show you. So you click on install and it is installed. And then it sh shows up in the web section. Now, first. Uh, thing I want to say is that you need to load the extent what you want. Let's say that uh, you want uh, a slightly detailed extent, like something like this let's say. And uh, you want to create a 3D of this. Second uh, requirement you need to have a dem file. In this case, it's this one. Of course, I will not uh, load it on the map. I want just to use the heights. I will turn on the shade. It's generated for the dem and it uh, shows uh, the heights visually. And uh, that's about it. That's the roads I want to see and uh, also the rail. And I will show you first uh, this map and uh, I will turn off the labels, I don't want labels for now, no labels, I, okay, and because labels will slow down the process and I will turn on the, the buildings. You will notice that the buildings layer has uh, an attribute. If I go to fields, it has an attribute height, which is uh, of course approximation. You can specify exact the exact height of each building, but we have the attribute of uh, number of floors, and I just multiplied by three three meters. Usually, is the typical height of a floor. So four multiplied by three equals twelve, and so, on. and I've generated this height field. Why is this important? Let's load the plugin now because I've already set up the layers as I want them and the extent will be this one. First you specify the dem file. It automatically finds it, it's this one. The resolution as I mentioned will be only the extent of which I see. So I suggest using this for a detailed view. If you want to show your whole project, especially if it's a big project, the resolution will be quite low for a big project. I want to mention that this resolution applies to raster layers only. If you have vector layers, they won't lose any resolution when zoomed in. Next, we have uh, point layers, line layers and polygon layers. It's nicely split so I can easily find the roads, rail, the buildings there, in which case I will specify relative to them, which means that it will place them at the height of the according them point. Actually that should be set for all layers. And also I will specify the height field here. Height, I will specify height field. Notice that uh, you cannot specify any other field. You, so you must name your field exactly as it is, height, in the attribute table. Multiply will, will be 1, that means it will not exaggerate the height of the buildings. Transparency I will set fixed value and I will set 50, because I don't want the building to be so heavy on the model, I will set transparency to them. I will clip the buildings according to the extent, so here I will clip these buildings. I won't show any buildings outside of the range. 
and uh, that's about it. Let's uh, just save it. I will go here to this folder. And of course, uh, save it. It saves on HTML file. Let's click run. And that's it. It automatically loads it. So I will show you. It automatically loads the image. And you see it's pretty nice image. It will move fast because it's a small extent. And you notice the buildings are elevated. That is especially visible when viewing from down below. See? And the roads are visible and the model is quite nice. And you can easily just uh, show it to a client by sharing this file and uh, its according uh, layers and uh, you can demonstrate a point it's very nice I like this plugin very much and it's uh, quite useful and finally I will show you the files it creates one HTML file which it automatically loaded and uh, several files that uh, specify these menus here controls you can run it by holding the left uh, or orbit actually by holding the left mouse button you can zoom in by using the scroll of course and by using control press uh, left you can speed it up a little bit and uh, shift as well I think that uh, that summarizes the whole 3d plugin I suggest you use it and uh, you'll find uh, it uh, quite uh, beneficial for your work. Thanks for watching, rate this video, subscribe to my channel for more interesting QGIS, ARCHICAD, AutoCAD, Photoshop and other architectural software videos and also some insight about the architect's work. It's Nicole Alef from Adisoft signing off, wishing you inspiration and success in your architectural practice.